you going, peeps? Uh, yeah, welcome back to Snail TV. I thought I'll uh, yeah take you uh, through the whole uh, engine what engine combos and uh, running gear of the, both the Civics. Uh, first off, they're a uh, both a '76 Civic, and um, and but uh, engine combos they're totally different. So this one over here is the Roll Racer. Uh, it does have a it's a K20 running a K20. Um, obviously, as you can see, twin turboed um, comes into a massive ice box over here. And uh, then coming around into a, uh, a supercharger. So uh, that's the plenum there. Um, and then as you can see, just the, the latest and greatest is the direct port nitrous. So uh, everything um, is pretty much up to, uh, well, everything has been done under the bonnet as for such. Uh, obviously no lines and stuff like that. But um, yeah, everything has been um, completed. Um, obviously uh, radiator at the front. Um, joint to the icebox as well uh, And yeah, everything here is um, as such all at the front um, And then we'll take a yeah combo on this one over here and the big bad boy over here is the 2JZ So this thing here is the the money maker this one here is Yeah, I've had this car for uh, a bit too long now, but um, this is where everything started really this is the car that made everything So this is a uh, 2JZ uh, It's still a 3 litre um, obviously I wanted a 3 litre steel to rev and uh, grout field block so grout field to the top not running no water so all the water ports are all filled up and um, just runs runs water straight through the head no lines as such so obviously water water lines for the head and um, yeah so turbo wise on this one is a, uh, a GD55 so 2000 horsepower combo that's one that we see over here and um, yeah this one's got the bees knees uh, water to air intercooler as well uh, a big two and a half thousand uh, horsepower water to air intercooler and uh, yeah everything's just big in size um, yeah standard coil packs um, 12 injectors so we've got six on top and six on bottom um, obviously you need the massive uh, amounts of fuel so we've got 2000s on top and 2200s on the bottom cc's and uh, just to get the, the fuel into the, the changes there and obviously as you can see down here it runs a dry sump and that's all it runs so I'll straight off the crank straight straight onto the dry sump as you can see there is no alternator on this thing this doesn't run an alternator this runs a 16 volt system uh, so obviously we charge it up we do the pass and uh, recharge it back up after the pass uh, we'll go there in, the, in a second go to, uh, to the back and show you but um, so yeah, dry sump. It's a uh, five stage, and um, yeah, this is uh, this is the bees knees. This one, so uh, it's everything has been designed on this thing. Uh, obviously, full, full tube chassis. Um, we'll go inside in a second now. We'll open up the door. So these are full lift off doors. All right. So as you can see here, full lift off door goes away so we can um, easy accessible and these things are light as hell so all carbon fiber uh, this one's got uh, yeah all the good stuff and uh, yeah down there we can see all the electronics so all the electronics are all EMS um, I ran EMS back in the day and um, and did, did good for me so I thought I'll uh, I'll keep all the electronics there um, and the box so the box is the big money big money machine this is a Liberty fire speed clutchless as I mean by clutchless, so what it does is you change with no clutch. Uh, you take off with a clutch, but as such, you can shift. So these did have a massive pet, uh, a big grip, and you just change back up, uh, up back, uh, back and forth. Uh, I did get rid of that, I sold it, didn't want that. Uh, the only reason why is because it was way back, uh, and I just wouldn't, it just, I wouldn't be able to work. Um, but they do look cool and whatnot, but the faster way to go is air. So the air systems for these things are another like five grand or something. Uh, There's just, yeah, lots of money. So I thought I'd make it up myself. I do have get more achievement when I make stuff myself. So pretty much just got um, all, the, all the actuators and solenoids. Um, just looked up how they were doing it and whatnot. And um, yeah, drilled all, every, all the actuators, uh, the solenoids out, and um, obviously more air the better, and it, um, and it changes. And yeah, it works really, really good. The biggest thing of this thing was, 
was uh, in this box down here where it says uh, snail on here. Um, this is as I've made a uh, PDM for this thing. Inside there is a, uh, a board about that big and what it does is it changes from each individual uh, so, uh, uh, gear but takes out the last gear. So it changes into that one. Uh, so you're in first gear, changes the second, disengages first and such. So it's like a timed relay, but not timed if you can, um, yeah, understand that. But um, yeah, and obviously then we got reverse as well. So reverse lockout and then I can um, do reverse. So it has a uh, reverse one down on the bottom here as well. Um, uh, yeah, and so this took me around about, I don't know, about a few months to organize everything and um, yeah, and see what, what I needed. As such, I just looked up a lot of um, stuff online as well. And uh, air tank on this side here as well. So everyone gets confused and everyone says it runs nitrous and stuff, but it doesn't. So air tank, obviously be filled with CO2. L whole lot more uh, air there. And the fire bottle, so the fire extinguisher. So fire extinguisher, all right, so if you can follow the lines, fire lines come straight out and go straight for the chassis. All right, so it's all been, um, all go straight through the tube chassis and runs out the front. Take that on the front. So as it comes around the front, around the front, and comes around right up to the front here. All right, and it comes out, it goes up, and we've got a squirter here. All right, nozzle comes up again, and then comes up against this corner here. So this one obviously for the fuel tank and everything up at uh, the standard of the front of the engine. Goes right around again, you've got another, another nozzle up to the front. Goes back again and exactly the same pretty much. There's another another nozzle down, the, down there. And then from there, it goes back through the chassis, goes through the, into the cockpit. All right, comes out from the bottom of there and there's a squirter, well nozzle, right at the front there. And that there will go on to me on the driver and that there will then yeah squirt me as uh yeah if i'm on fire so it also there's another cool thing as well i got this off of um tim McManus. he's a uh yeah welder awesome um car builder and what he does so if there's a case there's a fire um obviously i hit the i hit the button this um uh sorry i pull the chute and uh this comes a uh, uh, out lets all the fire out what it also does it also i've got a line running back to as well so I've, I've teed it and it runs back right to the back what that does all right so what that does is there's another so this that comes up to this so there's another actuator this is not controlled by air this actuator is controlled by the fire so as soon as that happens Hits, as soon as the fire um, let, uh, bottle lets off, it um, then disengages the battery. So from the battery cut off and uh, shuts off the battery as well. Uh, what, the reason why they do that is because a lot of people leave battery running and they quickly head out. Uh, and obviously you have a, um, a quick release on the, on the back as well, as you can see. But um, yeah, a lot of people don't get to that in time. But as soon as I've hit the, um, the fire then that turns off as well all at, all in one action which is um yeah i thought that's a uh, a real good idea to uh, include in this thing because this thing's going to be sketchy as hell all right so that's the bag that's what it's all about oh so i'll just show you the 16 volt so excess power 16 volt agm battery um obviously now it's everything's a little bit newer at the moment uh everything goes to a uh, a lithium ion i might upgrade to that later on but um, this is brand new, never been used, so it should do the job for a while. Um, and obviously now we go to the chutes, if you just want to see the chutes. Same thing, this is all air. So there's nothing, that you don't pull no strings here. Um, everything's just by the, uh, done by a button and um, yeah, shoots out. Um, wheelie bars obviously need them. They're, you guys know what they're for and what they do. Uh, yeah, uh, full, full funny car cage. As you can see, so funny car cage, and um, yeah, we're going up to the steering wheel now. So steering wheel is a um, obviously you can see Sparco, and that there is all my starting buttons 
and um, yeah, push buttons. So this there can come off. So this was the thing that I really wanted to do. A little bit tight at the moment. So everything runs, as you can see, I think it's an 18 pin. All right, so this is a uh, Deutsch connector on the center. And that there is all the power for the dash, for the start button, and uh, for the nitrous, uh, not nitrous, sorry, uh, for the uh, fire and um, for the shoots. So, um, yeah, and that's it. So all the all the wires run through the column and uh, through a, uh, well, as you can see, the old phone line. But it's a, uh, I think this is a uh, 16 wire in one, I reckon it is. That's why it's so fat. And that just turns around the column as it goes. And that's how you run that. So, uh, yes, this thing's got um, some big money spent on um, just that custom stuff like that. Um, yeah, everything else is uh, just, yeah, just got money, money, money. Um, obviously, it's easy to get, um, uh, I need a, uh, a carbon fiber panel in the center here just to, just to hide all the, all the guts of it. That hasn't been done yet as such, but um, that'll be get done later. But um, yeah, it's easy as that. Um, still needs uh, windows done on the, on the two fronts as well. I don't have that, that, that yet, so that'll be Lexan windows and uh Lexan on the front obviously as well they're not uh bolted in yet it's just uh just a roughy just to get it all happening uh yeah nothing really else to talk about on this one this one here though this one here's the big money maker though this one here is where everything started uh and uh yeah oh uh, yeah yeah we're really impressed with this one and um oh uh this is the car I sort of never never get rid of all right so i'll tell you a little bit more about this thing as well so I kept spending money on this thing and I uh, need another car to put some sort of money into uh, and not waste it all on one car. So got this thing from a junkyard. Uh, thing was pretty much crumbled, uh, wasn't looking good. And uh, obviously had the, the standard 1.2 litre front wheel drive uh, engine. Uh, exactly the same as that thing as well. This thing here was four speed. That was automatic, as you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, have turned it into Turn into a road car, change lots of it. Uh, I keep changing things. I just don't like the same sort of um, driving the same sort of car. Um, it does, it did drive. I did drive it all the time, pretty much every weekends. Uh, took the kids out on it and stuff like that, you know, just fun stuff like that. But now obviously not as such. Now it's just gonna be a two seater. It did have a back seat before this build on this one, as you can see on my channel. And uh, we've gone with, these ones got the standard doors on them. Nothing special, standard wind ups. All right, so, you know, everyone's keeping everything simple on this thing. Um, but then we've gone with, you sort of can't make, um, I don't know, I just seem like you sort of can't make anything good if you keep trying to modify, uh, like, standard stuff. So I just, like, went, nah, that's it, we'll gut it, and um, and tube this thing as well. So it's just easy with these things. These, never think, these, these cars didn't have a chassis as such. These uh, 76s. They, um, yeah, they just, they all had it folded into the actual, um, uh, into the floor pans. And it was only like a, a quarter of a, uh, yeah, not much, not much strength there. So, yeah, tube it and uh, we can run as big tubs as, as we can. And, um, yeah, and go from there. So, yeah, easiest thing there is we've just completed the dash. That was our newest thing that we've done. And as you can see, when the steering wheels there this ain't the right steering wheel that we'll be running for it so yeah cheap cheap nasty one and um yeah we've got our ems dash on this thing this thing will be running ems as well um just like the other drag car and um yeah so yeah dash is uh yeah they look it's nice and simple and uh, they do their job uh this one is running a, this box is running a um a get rag five speed uh, bmw box and uh, they made up to the K, K series engines nice and easy with a custom um, uh, bell housing adapter and all the all the uh, yeah so uh, gearbox is uh, they're pretty strong obviously it was not going to hold all that horsepower for now and um, and we'll build it up a bit later on just to get this thing running and they're you know good good gearboxes for uh, yeah how cheap they are uh, obviously it's tubbed smaller tubs in the drag car 
and um, yeah, all the all the cool little parts and pieces there. Uh, half cage, sorry, not cage for the front. Um, yeah, it doesn't need it. Um, it's it should be quick enough for a uh, uh, should be enough cage for how fast I want to go on this thing. Uh, around to the back. Uh, this thing's got a uh, quick release quick release hatch. Well, I probably won't be able to do any quick release right now because it hasn't been done for a while. Okay. Three and four. All right, so this thing is pretty much the standard piece of tin, as you're going to call it now. It's like a wobble board. All right, so that's all it needs. And um, as you can see, all the tub and the center. So the only thing that we need to mount in the center there is a, uh, a fuel cell as such. And um, yeah, we'll get the rest of it. All right, now onto uh, the underneath pretty much. So tire wires, what they are both running. Uh, this uh, this is a pretty much set up for roll racing this car. Uh, obviously we need as much traction on the go as possible. So what are we running on this one is a, uh, a, 290, a 295, uh, I think it's a uh, 60, 50, uh, 50 uh, 15. 15. And um, yeah, diff wise. So yeah, uh, highlight stiff in this one as well. And then also highlight stiff on, on the drag car. Uh, no, it's not really gonna handle as much because I was only running a thousand horsepower before. And this one here is set up for a lot more than before. So uh, yeah, this one's, uh, we'll see if it breaks. We'll wear it once it breaks, pretty much. Not, not if, it will. And then we'll uh, upgrade it later on. Uh, obviously, cars always wanted to be upgraded and that's how I like doing things, so. Uh, yeah, uh, this one here was a show car, so a lot of things are a little bit different on this thing. As I said, no door handles. This did have suicide doors originally because it, um, yeah, the whole uh, show factor on it. And um, yeah, we'll, uh, it looks good like that. Uh, leave it, don't need to do it because we'll have a hole through the Lexan and for the door handles. But um, yeah, this thing here, uh, this Civic, sorry, well, is, um, yeah, is where uh, everything um, has come from. But um, yeah, they were both a 76 Civic. Um, they were pretty much about a month out, I think. Yeah, I forgot the date, so I have to get the piece of paper. But yeah, pretty much um, about a month build date out. So um, yeah, both a two door, one a hatch, and one is a sedan as such. Uh, this one here is the hatch, uh, obviously sedan because it doesn't look like a sedan, but they count these count these as a sedan because they have like a small boot, like a mini. And um, yeah, whereas this one here had the hatch. But um, as such as, two, as doors, they're only still a two-door. The both rear, everything is the exact same as that. And um, yeah, the biggest pretty much appearance on the outside would probably be the flares. These things had a uh, big SLR 5000 Tirana flares. Um, don't worry about the dirtiness, they're just a, uh, have been a bit dirty for a while. Uh, wheel size on this thing. Uh, obviously these will have requirements. So what I've gone for this is only a these are a little bit smaller than the roll race, unfortunately. Um, only because I've got uh, requirements to go onto what category I go. So it's only a 10 inch, 10 inch tire and a 10 inch rim. Uh, yeah, so the appearance wise is pretty much exactly the same as the Civic. Still runs the Civic tail lights as such. You can see they're exactly the same tail light. They've just been painted just to get a little bit more dark in it, like darkness. All right, so what needs to be done for these cars to get them um, running as uh, such? Well. Unfortunately, they were, two years ago, they were both running, they were both driving. Uh, this, this car did originally had a, uh, a standard block, only a 42R on the turbo size, and um, had a uh, four-speed uh, automatic from a Supra. It did drive, but now, obviously, now we've uh, upgraded up the game. Um, what does it need? So to get this thing running, what we're gonna do is get some lines, so, we had drive sump here, so obviously you can see everything's all hollowed. We need um, some lines, so so uh, some from the block to the dry sump, to the dry sump, to the tank, and um, so all lines on this car and a fuel pump. So fuel pump runs off of the back of the dry sump. There is a uh, a hex a hex head on the back of the dry sump, 
and that's where the the dry suck uh, the uh, fuel pump runs off of. So a mechanical pump, obviously. That's um yeah, it's the only way on these um, big horsepower uh, two J's, and obviously other cars as well is um is mechanical. And um, so if we get lines, fuel pump, and um, there, this thing here will start up. It will not go. I do still need, the only one biggest thing on this car is a clutch. Uh, the clutches for these things are worth excesses of $10,000. They're big money. And um, it's just gonna be the, you know, the deal breaker for me to get this thing started, but obviously not, not moving as at all. But we can still hear it run. So I'm hoping within the next few months as such is, um, yeah, we'll see how money goes. We can um, get this thing running, um, get some lines, get the fuel pump and get this thing started. And uh, you guys can hear it. Obviously this thing is not watered. I need water for the head. So you can't run this thing and sit it to idle. It does just warms up and then you make a pass and that's it. On to this one. So to get this thing running, so obviously this thing here was running as well. If you go back from a page, you'll see the car get pulled apart. This was just a standard uh, 1.2 litre, big turbo on it. It wasn't drivability, it was absolutely hopeless because it uh, was all lag. Um, but now we've obviously changed to the K20 and um, done all the bolt-ons as well. Well, not bolt-on, but fabrication to it. To get this thing running, obviously how I like to build everything, this thing hasn't been painted in the engine bay. Um, so we're almost up to, we've only got a couple tiny little bits and pieces to mount and we pull this thing apart. Um, after we pull it apart, we can paint the engine, we'll fix up the engine bay. Um, everything um, is only pretty much tacked on as such. So we can fully weld everything up and um, yeah, give it a, a lack of paint. Yeah, um, obviously once we pull it down, we get to uh, get a lick of paint and uh, start putting it all back together um obviously the block is stock hasn't got anything the only thing i'm um gonna be doing is probably put some um, rods and pistons in there and uh and pretty much just send this thing so so we just got a couple of bits and pieces and obviously just wiring everything up um wiring's no no biggie that can get done pretty sim simple um but as such as pretty much um if we wire this up th this thing up now uh turbos will spin so that's where we're looking obviously we'd need fuel and whatnot but um yeah it's um it's a block so it's a it's a motor it all works but um yeah for uh, for strength wise uh get a uh, set of rods and pistons and um yeah and uh, get that uh, a little bit of reliability there so horsepower wise we're not going after the world record here at all guys um this ain't a um I'm not going for the 1,000 horsepower, I'm not doing any of that stuff. So going for around about the 900 horsepower, that's where they are sort of pretty much reliable. You don't need to go, um, you know, uh, anything ex extensive there. You don't snap anything like that. Um, yeah, so a set of rods and pistons in this thing and it should do it. All right, peeps. Well, uh, yeah, there's the run through of uh, both cars and uh, where they're up to and what they need. Um, I'm not sure what you guys want to uh, see more of. Obviously, I don't have this thing out because it is pretty much the rest of the car is done. There's no more fabrication to go do on this thing. The only thing, obviously, I need lines and fuel pump to get this thing running. Um, obviously, that's sort of uh, money, and um, I'll do that in uh, like I'll do that in videos, obviously. But um, it's not a uh, fabrication thing that I uh, I can do there. So obviously, there's more stuff to do on this thing. Um, what do you guys want to see more of? Uh, put some comments down if you want to, uh, yeah, if you want, to, you want me to see more of this car and I'll get this thing running sooner than um, later. Uh, hope, I'm hoping the end of this year it uh, will be running. And um, the drive, driving bit will be maybe a little bit later, maybe hopefully next year or so, um, because it's just, um, yeah, some big money there. So, but this thing here, uh, the roll racer as such is what I, um, I try to call it because that's what it's going to be used for. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less. It's obviously more of a budget car. It's not, um, it's not big money. Uh, this thing here is, you know, the block and all that. It, it, it's not, there's not much actual proper money there. It's all fabrication and the fabrication I do it myself anyway. So that's why I've, uh, I've achieved so much in little time. Uh, this has only been, been probably a, uh, a six, seven month build, uh, about, oh, seven, eight month build, sorry. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so much she got achieved in that time. Um, yeah, and with little, little money, not, not big money. There's still money spent there, but um, it's not as much as this thing over here. So yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see. Um, you want to see that thing start up? Or you want to see this thing start up? That's pretty much simple. Obviously, I know you guys want to sit here, this thing, with a supercharger and turbo. Yeah, where you guys want to see both both progress-wise, um, that there's obviously pretty uh, close to getting started up. Uh, and this thing, you just needs to, if you guys want to get it started up, at, like right now, um, as, uh, as such as not getting this thing painted and just getting it started up, let me know that. And um, that's something I can probably achieve as well. Um, there's not really too much there to um, to hook up to get this thing running and just to hear how it sounds with the blower and uh, and uh, the twin turbos. Um, yeah, and that's just where it's at, guys. Um, let me know. They're both um, yeah, they're, they're my Civics, really. So yeah, guys, uh, just give me a uh, a like and subscribe in the uh, in my uh, bio there um, on my YouTube. And uh, yeah, and that's what's going to make this thing go. Uh, get this page go really well. Uh, yeah, if you don't got uh, don't like uh, going on uh, YouTube at all, then I'm still on uh, Instagram, Snail TV Oz, and um, obviously Facebook as well, Snail TV. So yeah, go give all them a like and uh, and see all my other projects as well. Uh, I've got some um, cool stuff happening. Uh, whereas uh, if it's the booster car, or I've got a couple of things. I've got another K series in the on the boat, and um, yeah, and a couple other little things, bits and pieces that I've um, I've got going on as well. So yeah, let me know where you're at. If you want what you want to what you want to see going on, um, because I'm just um, just doing this for fun, pretty much, and it's just something that I like to do. And um, yeah, keep you guys entertained, pretty much. All right, peeps. See you later.